Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 1st to the 15th, 2023 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out more than you'll ever know, and it's getting me seen by the YouTube algorithm again, so thank you so very much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is the hangman reversed. So cancer, what spirit is telling us to be mindful of is that like we're changing our mind again. We've changed our mind. We're changing our mind again. And it's like, should I be changing my mind? Shouldn't I be changing my mind? So spirit is saying, be mindful of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Take a step back to say, is this good for me? Or, you know, why am I doing this type of thing? Because that's going to put you back into what your, your goals are. Okay. So just be aware of this and beware of somebody, you know, trying to change your mind so that they agree, you agree with them. You have strong views. You hold those views. You don't need to change for anybody else. Okay. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. Here, this is balance. We are finding balance in our world. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> In our career, in our finances, we are embracing balance. So during this time, we need to look at what's balanced for us also. And just to be like balanced within ourselves. And again, not being bullied or, or coerced by anyone is going to be very important. Let's see what spirit has to say through the tarot. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. Angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay. So what we have to be mindful of, one of the main things, is that we can really be getting in our own way during this time. We have the King of Cups reversed. And it's not a bad thing to get in our own way. It could be we're overthinking, we're overanalyzing, we're too emotionally invested into something to, to, be, to be objective. So understanding this during this time can be very beneficial to us where we say, okay, I'm going to tend to trip myself up. You know, when it comes to money, when it comes to my career, I'm aware of this. So maybe I can curtail this. And that's very important. But we are going to tend to be our own worst enemy during this time, especially when it comes to sacred masculine things, like traditionally sacred masculine things. So I don't know why I made air quotes, I guess around masculine. But there is this energy here of we can have a bit of difficulty standing up for ourselves. We can have a bit of difficulty, you know, seeing what we want to, to acquire during this time. Like, what are our goals? Where are we going? What are we going for? What do we want to be? You know, it's kind of like, I just see this very much as like the father energy coming in and it's being like, well, what are you going to do with that? And how are you going to get a job? And, you know, all those practical things that some of us don't like, you know, really thinking about, we're going to have a bit of difficulty with that. But in one way or another, we're going to have to see these things during this time. So just being aware of this is going to be very important. Now we're crowned with the lovers reverse. We're not really embracing the duality of us. We want things to be rather black and white, you know, white page, black print, everything can be a certain way. 
And this is a time where we need to embrace what we love. And we're having a bit of difficulty with that. Now, either that will just take us completely or off course. And that could be one thing most definitely. But there's also this sense of how do I embrace the duality within me? How do I embrace the abundance within me? How do I do what I love? Because it can also almost feel like what I love isn't being safeguarded by my angels. You know, it's not being protected for me. So how can I ever embrace it? And what spirit is telling us here is that what we love is valuable and what we love is prosperous to us. It might not be in the way that we had expected though. though. So if you're saying here, oh, I always had this dream career. I always wanted this X, Y, Z. Look at where you are now. Now you might be completely, you know, off the mark from where you want to be, but look at the little things that you do that sets your heart, you know, aflame that you're really passionate about, that you love, that you desire, that you want to keep on building in your life. And then start focusing on those things. Because what we're going to see here is that we can start putting things back into balance. Things are going to be out of balance. It could be financially during this time, and that could be a big thing. Things are financially out of balance. We're like, okay, I don't want to always be giving or always be taking. I want things to be much more steady. So just be aware of this during this time. We can also have make sure the bills are paid. Okay. I know that's a really simple thing, but spirit saying here, somebody's having a bit of difficulty and it's almost like I'm not a nice person if I'm, if I'm not being compassionate in this way. So just be aware of this with the six of pentacles. Okay. That somebody can want to take advantage and we just have to be mindful about this and really stand our ground. Now we're kind of ready for a fight, which is interesting for a cancer to be ready for a fight, but we've had to fight so much within our career. And this is really around the career that it's just kind of becoming second, second nature to us. Do we like it? No, actually we don't. But there is this real sense of like, I have to fight for this and I have to fight for that. And I have to stand my ground. And it can be that we're fantastic with the per people that we're working with, but our colleagues, I really see this as more around our colleagues. We always have to be fighting and it's like, stop engaging. Don't, there's somebody who wants to pull you into a fight. I mean, really there is, there's somebody who wants to pull you into a fight. And you need to, you need to embrace what you believe in, right? Stand up for yourself, right? Not be a doormat, but don't engage with this person. Don't stoop to their level. Don't take on the, the chaos that they're kind of throwing your way, not kind of, they're throwing your way and be aware of this because you have the higher ground, you do. And we all know that in any Star Wars movie, that means that you win, but there's this sense of like, I have the higher ground. I don't need to prove anything. Because what happens is we're going to be swept up in our emotions, in our emotions, and that's not going to lead us to the place that we want to be. Because it's not like we're being swept up in our emotions in the best possible way. It's like our emotions are just taking over. Now, we could ha be having a bit of difficulty with an Aquarius, okay? Now, this is a time frame, January 20th to February 18th, or somebody who came on the scene around those times. What we're going to be seeing here is that we really think that our soul's wish isn't being heard that what we deeply long for in our lives is just being overlooked. That's not the case. But what our soul desires is manifesting itself in our, in our lives differently than we had anticipated. And this is spirit really asking us, you know, do you have to be so rigid? And I know that sounds like a rude thing to say, but when it comes to money, when it comes to our careers, it's like what you deeply desire is coming to you but it's, it's packaged in a way that you're not expecting. And so being aware of that is really going to be rather freeing for you during this time. So just, just remember this. But also, there's somebody who's watching. You're afraid to say what you really want? You just are. It's like, oh no, that's okay. I don't need to say it. Like, it doesn't really matter. And you're doing it to keep the peace. But let yourself have your dreams. Let yourself say, this is what I desire. And also let yourself say, like, I haven't been happy, right? I haven't been embracing what I love. And love is everything for a cancer. Love is everything for a water sign energy. Embracing our emotions and saying, this is who I am. You know, we're actually kind of afraid to lead and be the example that we want to be. We're afraid to take on that role as leader. And spirit's like, why? Why? We can be overwhelmed by emotions. We want to take 
the lead, you know, the king of, of wands in the upright position is always the one for me who leads by example, who says, this is what I want in my life. This is what I desire. This is what I'm going to be. And that's it. And so with the king of, not, did I say king of wands, king, king of cups, with the king of cups reversed, there's this sense of, well, how do I brace what my heart wants? You know, how do I, how do I take those first steps? And we're having a bit of difficulty with that because we don't want to seem bullish. You know, we don't want to seem like a bully, but also we also want to embrace what we love. And so knowing that during this time, it's okay to take the lead. It's okay to say, this is what I want in my life. That's going to be a big thing for you. And you'll actually find that when you're more you, like all of a sudden you just start <laughs> attracting people. It's like, this is who I am. This is what I love. I'm not fighting for it. You know, I'm, I'm letting my soul's wish come out. I'm letting myself open up. Well, then it all changes. During this time, Cancer, we're not really that worried about savings. Should we be? I always think we should have in the back of our mind our savings. That's important. But what we're seeing here is we're seeing we're not really looking at the details. We don't want to be detail oriented. We kind of want big brush strokes type of thing. We don't want to be working on the minutia. Understanding that, but also understanding that we're really good at the minutia. <laughs> like we're really good at the intricate details of things is also going to be important. And that's where our prosperity lies. You know, here she's making the blanket. And it's a lot, it could be a lot of tedious work, a lot of repetition for what, when completed, is really, really beautiful. So understanding that is going to be really important. We can feel like I don't want to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. And it's like, okay, but it's making something beautiful and comforting and, and prosperous for you. So even though we don't want to do it, we, we, we kind of have to. So being aware of that is also going to be a very good thing. Also be mindful of your money. I know we're not really into savings right now, but here with the, the pentacles on the ground, they can just fall. So it's either we can have a tendency to overspend, we can have a tendency to be overly generous. So just be aware of this, that we need to be, we need to be mindful of that. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the world reverse. <sighs> I don't see this as a time where you have to step out there in the big world and be like, hello, I'm here, you know, type of thing. But the world reverses, like we're making our world just a little bit too small and be, be aware of this. Our subconscious energy from spirit is fairy tales. We're forgetting the stories, the fairy tales, the, the beauty that, that guided us, that transformed us, that opened up so many doors to us when we were little, the stories that we loved. This is a time to really start remembering those fairy tales, really start remembering what we were passionate about and what we desired and what moved us forward in ways that were exquisite and kind of seem out of reach out time, at times right now. So just be, be aware of this. Fairy tales are going to be very important to you. Just even remembering the magic of fairy tales and not the Disney type, but the, the type that's a little bit more gritty. That's going to be important. Our subconscious tarot message is the Knight of Swords reverse. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is also us subconsciously kind of tired of being stuck and thinking, that's it, I'm just going to move. You know, I'm just going to do things. I'm just going to insert this bit of, of chaos or this bit of brashness or this bit of arrogance into things. And that'll change it. Be mindful of the Knight of Swords reverse because the Knight of Swords in the upright position, it's the hero of the story. The Knight of Swords reverse was to someone who wanted to be the hero but couldn't be. So there's either somebody in our lives that like just charges and you're like, oh my gosh, please stop. Like, please think before you act type of thing. But this can also be us where we're just frustrated and we'll do something impulsive and big. It's going to be big because that's what the Knight of Swords does, big things. Um, and then we think about it and it's like, oh man, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't what I wanted it to be. So being aware of that is going to be an important thing for us. All right. All right, Cancer, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I hope you have a wonderful beginning of June. God bless. Bye.